Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, this is the making of, well not the making of, but the fixing of a petticoat that I had and this is for the Gwen dress which I'll show here. Um, I haven't actually finished the Gwen dress yet but um, this will be part of a video series where I will go through the making of the finished Gwen dress. Um, so if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe and they will be uh, coming into your inbox uh, in the following weeks. So this is the old petticoat I had and it was from an op shop and it was just a bit too tight around the top as you can see. So I decided to cut off those straps and also lower the, um, the back of the petticoat so the zipper wouldn't have to be zipped up as high. Um, so I just marked out where I wanted to cut off the straps with chalk and then just simply snipped all of that off. And like I said, I did cut through the zipper because the zipper went up a bit too high um, to the point where it wouldn't zip up. So then I just um, put some pins in where the zipper is supposed to end, um, just to make sure that uh, the zipper doesn't come undone. And then with the straps, I cut off the thick laced, uh, the thick laces, the thick lacing on the edges, um, because I just think that's unnecessary, unnecessary bulk. Um, so I trimmed all of that off. Um, and that was quite thick. There was like four or five layers of material uh, just in those seams. So that definitely helped. And I used the remaining strips of fabric from those straps to create new straps. And then um, I also just uh, made sure that the two straps that I had um, were relatively the same shape. So I just overlaid them on top of one another and then just cut um, away the excess. So then uh, putting the petticoat back on, um, obviously it has no straps so it wouldn't stay up. Um, but I was just testing here um, if the zipper would actually zip all the way up to the top. And um, I believe it did, so that was good. And it would mean that the petticoat would fit. So with the straps, I was just um, seeing if they would reach all the way um, from the front to the back, which they wouldn't. So what I decided to do was um, pin them just to uh, one of the edges. So in this case, I pinned it just to the front, but then I think I flipped, flipped that and then pinned them just to the back and then um, had the gap in the front. You'll see what I mean soon. And I was also just testing to make sure that the straps could be slipped off the shoulder since um, the Gwen dress is an off the shoulder gown so um, that's the reason for that. Um, yeah so then I moved on to... what, what did I move on to? <laughs> it's quite a while ago since I filmed this so I don't really remember the next step that I took. Oh, okay, so I'm sewing down the straps, so I'm just sewing the straps into two really long tubes, and then after I've sewn them into long tubes, I then uh, turned them right side out, so all of the raw edges would be hidden on the inside. So here I'm just sewing uh, all around the edges.
and then once I had sewn all around the edges I just trimmed off the corners and also clipped um, where there were slight curves in the in the tube <laughs> uh, just to let the fabric ease a little bit better and then using something sharp and pointy so I just used a pair of scissors I turned the tubes the right way around so then they just formed these long uh, rect rectangle strap things and then I also repeated the same process uh, for the other side or the other strap and so that's the two straps done and then going back to the main petticoat I marked with chalk uh, where I wanted the top of the petticoat to finish um, so I ended up lowering the um, the top part of the petticoat just a tad um, and also to even it out since when I first cut it it was quite wonky so just trimming all of that excess material and then with uh, where the zipper meets uh, meets the fabric um, I was just neatening this up and pinning it and it was really weirdly done um, because there's two layers of fabric but the lining layer didn't properly cover the zipper if that makes any sense anyway what I'm doing here is just neatening off the top edge of the petticoat so just folding um, both raw edges inwards and then pinning that down So I continued doing that all along the top edge of the petticoat and then at the back where the zipper is I just placed pins in there and then fixed up those corners um, a little bit later. So now I was um, trying to figure out the placement of the straps on the back of the dress, of the petticoat sorry. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I, yeah, I sort of just placed them uh, where I thought they would go best. And um, I sandwiched the straps in between the two layers of the bodice and then pinned that into place. So once that's all pinned, I literally just sewed straight across the top of the petticoat and that also secured the um, straps into place. So the straps are only secured to the back of the dress and then where they come to the front um, they don't actually reach all the way to the front since I didn't have enough fabric for that so I ended up um, as you'll see soon um, putting in eyelets and having the strap uh, meet the front bodice part of the petticoat uh, using a piece of ribbon. Oh, and here I'm just fixing up the zipper in the back, so now that's all nice and neat. I ended up just hand stitching that down. And you can see my stitching all the way around the top of the bodice. And those straps are secured in the back as well. So like I was saying, um, the straps don't reach all the way to the front, so I ended up puncturing um, a hole in the front for an eyelet and also a hole in the um, strap for an eyelet as well. So here I'm just um, sewing in the eyelet. Um, yeah, not much to explain here. And I'm going back with the awl to make the hole a little bit bigger when necessary. So, yeah. So one eyelet is done 
and now moving on to the strap. And that's the eyelet for the strap done. And I did that obviously on both sides. And then once those eyelets were all sewn in, I um, had some of this ribbon. Uh, yeah, it's just some really fine polyester ribbon. And I threaded that, that through the eyelets and then tied it into a bow again on both sides. And then that's it. The petticoat is now fixed up and now can be worn uh, with the Gwen dress, which is off the shoulder. So that's why um, I needed the straps to be able to um, fall off the shoulders a little bit. And um, the back of the dress, oh, sorry, the back of the petticoat has now been lowered um, since the back of the Gwen dress is a little bit uh, lower than the original petticoat. And um, I also like the fact that I um, kept this petticoat uh, with a high empire waistline um, because I am planning on wearing this petticoat with uh, some of my Regency dresses that I have. Um, and yeah, and I'm wearing the petticoat um, over my chemise that I also have a video on if you want to see that, I'll link it in the description below. And um, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, Make sure to subscribe if you want to see um, the full series of videos that will come after this um, going through how I'm making the Gwen dress. Um, I've already got the base dress done. I've already got two videos um, on the base dress. So yeah, 